about to think about psychological part of it. If, uh, for example, if the state bites you, you'll be even afraid of a rope. So actually, yeah, in retributive system, why does that transaction work? Because the people who are in retributive system, they feel worthless. They feel they, they can not do anything. They cannot accomplish anything. So they wouldn't do a crime again instead of knowing that they should be punished again and back to the jail system and stuff like that. And also in a rehab system, uh, we, are, uh, uh, we know that rehab system works by the way that young, a young person is one, one, uh, one facility, they, they put him in another, and another, and another, in a circle, and the young person does not feel that he can go out. If he go out and commit a crime again, because the debtor actually does not work in the rehab system, what happens? He goes back, and then again it's a circle, in which young person doesn't see out of that circle. In the retribution system, in the jails, where young person is inca incapacitated, he feels that, okay, he will spend 30 years in one jail, but after that, he'll go out. There's no coming back to the jail. And if needed, he will be provided with a rehabilitation help. Also, uh, we're talking about expansion those criminal articles and stuff like that. Well, what about, this is not a posing a question. We know that in today's society, and even in previous years, we had a lot of cases in which young criminals who have uh, criminal records, but not even on a paper, but in real life, uh, what happens? They go to school, they kill 10 children in one school, but just two of them, and nobody knows that they were criminals before, because what happens? We don't have a criminal record. And what happens? The major majority suffers because of the minority. Like, majority is uh, being punished because of the minority didn't act, because it is a hole in a system. So government should give criminal records to young criminal offenders, just because society have to be protected. We have to prioritize of the safety of society. Also, their plan that uh, negative side proposal uh, about uh, retribution system, about misery plan, stuff like that. We want to say that it only actually in, in actually works in now, in present. But you don't think about future. What happens if those young juveniles went from rehab system? What kind of personality they will achieve? And we're talking about the future. We think of the future about society. We have to protect our society. That's the first implement plan that one democratic society should have. And also. One society is obligated to defend himself, like that's obligation of one land, that's obligation of one society. And I would also like to uh, add more that, um, that because of all what he has said, I strongly uh, impose you to refer. Thank you. Is there evidence that the retribution brings deterrence? Retribution brings deterrence, of course there are evidence. Um, can you like, tell us some? Well, I'm not sure that I have it right now, but in, uh, but I can provide you later on. Mm, does the retribution show a decrease in a crime? Does retribution show a decrease in a crime? No. Uh, yes, a decrease, like, so mm -hmm. If uh, the crimes are transferred to adult co court, what happens? If the crimes are transferred to adult courts? Yes. Well, um... Then, um, you mean the crimes committed by the juveniles? Yes. Okay, yeah. Well, and that happens that uh, we have actually, um, we have work on the retribution system. Actually, we didn't prove that the retribution system actually works. So if the trial, if the judges uh, decide that one juvenile person is capable of doing that crime, then yes, why not putting him in a jail? Um, that's all. the people by social and by allowing them to get job and this is uh, what a real society is about to help the people because our rehabilitation is working um, as I said the protect we pro really protect the society as I said with social programs, with allowing to them to jobs, we remove their, uh, we remove their, um, we remove their bad habits by psychological work. We allow parents who uh, who are in the cities to help in the process of re rehabilitation, and they really didn't address uh, our points uh, about learning the trade. In their system, they will learn from experienced, uh, experienced, um, experienced, experienced criminals the trade. They will get more and more criminal. Um, they said uh, in one cross sex that we want to big, want to build bigger houses 
for, because when we implement on the national level, there's more dominance. And so we say we will uh, uh, build multiple uh, multiple camps with uh, the same population. So their point about um, loses in uh, importance when it goes on the national level really falls because uh, it remains uh, it. Uh, the effects are remaining. Why does uh, why does um, the Missouri on a national level their uh, recidivism rate falls, and why does it not uh, cannot go on the national level? Uh, they haven't also uh, pointed about the abuses in the uh, in the system in the rehabilitation system. It it produces produces trauma. It produced, they have poor sanitary conditions, uh, and poor sanitary conditions allow a uh, spread of diseases. We are not helping these people, we are just destroying them. Thank you, and vote for the affirmative. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the speaker of Mobility are the, uh, are the opponents who are speaking about their plan, which, uh, in their opinion, is the best way to solve the problem? And now I'm going to explain to you why uh, they are doing a mistake and why our plan must be prioritized. As gentlemen, we are caring about the whole society and the safety of society must be on the first place. Uh, we believe we should affirm today's resolution for two reasons. First of all, uh, the affirmative uh, plan is impossible. Uh, misery plan is uh, a uh, tiny area. On a large scale, uh, on a large scale uh, lose the attention. Uh, also, if the center is bigger, you need uh, more security, which removes therapeutic effects of freedom. We still provide rehabilitation, uh, but prioritizing it uh, causes it to lose effectiveness. Secondly, uh, retribution deters more. Forget the reason. Uh, we, we have conflicted uh, statistics about it. Let's look at the trends. What scares you more, engine management, uh, engine mm, management lessons, or time in jail? Uh, also look at criminal records. Uh, as I said, a just society protects whole society. Removing uh, criminal records uh, leaves society more vulnerable because people don't know if the, the employees are dangerous. And uh, they, they tell you uh, they tell you they are not uh, talking about serious crime, but uh, that was never made the. Uh, that was never made clear at the beginning. We believe uh, they are the most important ex uh, examples. Uh, uh, our opponents also told us 